Hey, good morning or good afternoon or good evening, wherever you're at. Uh, it's uh, beginning of August and it's about uh, nine o'clock this morning. So good morning. In this video, we're gonna be talking about my DIY uh, solar array adjustable uh, wooden frame. Uh, there's a guy named Rodney Hunt on his channel. He's He has a full build there of his and this one's similar to his. I think it might be a little bit bigger. I'm gonna make this video because I ran into some problems with the, the design, like what Rodney had. Uh, I Well, if you go bigger, that's the problem. I went a little bit bigger and a little bit heavier, and I don't think that three legs, I don't think that the three legs for the array, for an array this size, uh, is, is good for this build. And because I've got 12, full size panels, uh, commercial panels, they're 535 watts a piece and they're heavy. You see here, they're 12 foot long, I had to add a little piece, a two foot piece to each of them. But that sucker is heavy and three legs, and these are six by sixes. Uh, and they're two foot in the ground, concreted. But this thing, and I know that we got to put some X bracing on here this way. And that's fine. We're going to do that. But if I had, if I had to do it over again, if I had to do it over again, I would, I would put four legs instead of three, at least on one this size. And at this size is 30 foot wide. It's 30 foot wide. Uh, by 12 foot tall I would add another leg at least and in my area right here I want to show you what I'm kind of worried about now we've got a field here and this faces to the west excuse me to the east all right north is this way we got trees that way for the north and then over here to the west, we got our, we've got a shed, our camper, storage container, shipping container, a building, trees, and it's hills. We're blocked from this area, but the only way that we don't have any protection is uh, straight from the east this way. And it'll come up this hill and create lift. So what I'm going to do. Is if you can see these four before posts just kind of laying up here, I'm gonna run some kickers from probably about here down with some more six by six posts here, and maybe cut them off about a foot up, and then put the uh, four before post kicked into that to brace up the legs times three on each one. And I'm hoping that will help it. And then I will also concrete those posts in like I did here. And I'll put it about there. I'm figuring out the lengths. I got eight foot uh, four four posts here. So just wherever it comes out and looks uniform going straight through. There'll probably be like two foot down with a post. And then I'll probably put the X braces here. And there. Down each one. And right there they are laying there. They're 16. And that's the thing. It's 16 foot lumber. 16 foot lumber really doesn't work good for my size of array. Because when you do the X bracing, you're especially on that tall end down there, you have uh, 17 foot from down here to up there, if not closer to 18 foot. So I can't go the full span. I'm going to have to shorten it up and put it about like here and here here and here with the x bracing well talking about the x bracing so anyways they'll be probably about a foot down here with the kicker and a foot down from there on each side that way i have enough for the four enough four before posts to go into the ground rambling a little bit one thing that i would definitely do different is i use clamps you can see this You 
use a clamp there. There's clamps up in the center, the center all the way down. And those are just going into this channel strut, 12 gauge, full size. It's just going into, I put a bolt in it there and it's got one of those little channel things that you buy like at Lowe's or Home Depot's that fits these to hold it down. And I've got these online on Amazon. And what I didn't realize is that in Rodney's video, he uses just bolts that will pretty much go in to your solar panel in these holes in these holes and then you could tie it into a channel and bolt it in but i didn't realize that and uh, i just like thought i had to have clamps i got clamps i don't think you necessarily have to have those you can bolt them in and be cheaper and the other thing that i did is there's contact points I've got 11 channels and then also I've got it, I've got them clamped in and screwed in here, up top right here in this piece. So on the very edge of a panel, they're clamped 30 inches over, clamped 30 inches over, clamped 30 inches over in this seam, I actually got another channel strut. So as you see, these two panels come up to it and then it's got a clamp in the center to hold the corner. You don't have to do that. In Rodney's video and other people's, they find the hose and they put one strut channel there and they come over here, one strut channel there and there's only one strut channel holding, or two, two of them holding the panel. So I kind of over-engineered that, but it's to my favor. As you can see, one panel laying on its side will have one, two, three, four points of contact. And then one more thing is here, I need, I need my array, excuse the sun, I need my array to tilt this way pretty good and not hit the four before post. This is another reason for bringing them down a little bit because I want this corner to come all the way down and hit a four before, four before post about here. That way I can stand here and work on those panels or replace them or whatever I got to need be. So I want it to tilt this way, hit where I can still work on it. And then this way still be able to tilt really far. That way I can work on these panels over here. So therefore I can't put the four before post really far up here or have anything blocking this area right there because it will make a contact point and this panel will not come down far enough for me to reach up a ladder and hit it so therefore like I say I just pull them down a little bit attach them and that way this will come down and hit about right here and I'll be able to repair these later if need be and same for the other side all right well that is my DIY solar and uh, it's a lot better than my first one which I'll show you Quick shout out to Starlink and Elon Musk making great products. EcoFlow got the smart generator right here. This is my grid power slash backup power. It actually will fire up my DPU, which is in the camper in there right now. Pretty soon it's going to be moved. Run off of propane because in August it's really hot and campers are really hot. And even though I've got uh, 12K kilowatt hours of storage of battery, that doesn't last us through the night. So right now in the peak of summer, I have to run this about two hours in the middle of the night just to give us a little boost to run our AC, <laughs> which runs to a Delta II uh, via the DC uh, port, which you can't see right now. The wire runs into there. It goes to the Delta II, and then the Delta II will tell it when to cut on and the Delta II charges the DPU. Anyways, that I nerded out a little bit, sorry. <laughs> All right, let's look at this array, the original array. Now, I want you to know that my wife and I, we just kind of popped up here and then we just started living. We do have water, but we don't have power or didn't have power. And the electric company was going to charge us like eight grand for a transformer that we wasn't gonna need longer than two years, you know, cause we're just gonna be here for two years saving money to build our house, which is way out that way 
on the farm. All right, so anyways, back to the solar array. I had three or four panels here, and then I had a panel that came, I had a gate that would come out here, and I had panels there, and then I had stacked panels on these hay, almost flat, for eight panels. And that's what we were living off of for a little while until one day we're like, nope, we got to get everything situated, put more panels up and get the rest of our panels up, which right there they are. So it's all about progress, right? <laughs> well, if you like the video, please like it, subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And uh, have fun with your DIY solar project. And... Uh, See you in the next one.